<laughs> All right, let's talk about this uh, this album. It's called Queen of the Clouds, and you broke it up into three different segments. Tell us about those segments and why. Um, the segments are uh, the sex, the love, and the pain. Yeah. And I realized when when I kind of put the songs together and looked at everything that I had and how I wanted them, the order I wanted them, I realized like, oh, this is kind of the pattern of my relationships usually. <laughs> so you go right right into chapter one there on a yes, regular? Yes, yes. It's more like it starts very passionate and then it kind of gets scary and you know, when you start to need this person and it's That's all the love. love. Yeah. yeah, and then... Um, and then there's the end. It ends in pain usually because... But see, that's think, the issue, yeah. I think, with all of it. And I, you know, as an artist, you, it's almost like there's a love hate between all those emotions because it's yeah. good for you as an artist to feel all of that. Yeah. But as a human being over here, we, um, <laughs> I, I worry about getting into chapter two because of chapter three. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to. I don't mind chapter one, but chapter two mm. makes me crazy because I know there's going to be chapter three. Exactly. So how does Ryan lose the pain? Well, how do I finish my album? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get done. You have to lose well, the fear. No, yeah, where is yeah, fear? You, you is your next chapter be, fear? It should be. It should well, be. you you can't be you can't be scared of pain. I think that's the main. You yeah. kind of have to be like wanting it a little bit. Be a, a little bit of a masochist. Is that mm -hmm. the word? Yeah, that's yeah. the word. <laughs> well, so if you like pain, so the 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 album breaks down into songs that are about these different categories. And does this mirror? A relationship or your relationships over the years? My relationships over the years. Okay. Yeah, the, the EP that I released um, in March um, that was called Truth Serum. That was about one specific one, and then mm. these is this is more just like a more elaborate description of all of them. You, you're just meandering through, getting through this this the pain of this breakup and yes. and the loneliness of having food in the tub, which I can't <laughs> imagine is practical. You just don't look miserable at all. Well, yeah, you I can't really eat in the tub. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, I mean honestly. No, I'm serious. What'd I you, do do that. What do you eat? <laughs> um, usually like ice cream or something. I don't make like a proper meal, you know, and save yeah. the top. <laughs> <laughs> See, ice cream is doable, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I just, for I guess it's different for women. I think that I was saying earlier to Ellen that a guy in a tub without without bubbles is weird because I don't want to see me. <laughs> without bubbles and a girl. Is... Well, with bubbles and no girls, even mm. weirder. <laughs> and so um, I think it's much more of a, of a girl thing. Right, I, I like to eat in a breakup. Like I love to eat, but I would eat not in water. Not in water. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I think my, my apartment's really cold, and then I have this nice tub, and yeah. then I would like make the water really warm, and then it's nice to have like ice cream to like cool down, right? <laughs> and so I can stay in there longer. You're just heating yourself up, cooling yeah. yourself down. Um, and then, so did how long did it take you to get through this phase of of your life? That I listen to those lyrics, and I just wonder. Um. Well. I'm not really sure. It's kind of a haze, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, it took it. it I mean, it took from from the from the actual breakup to me, you know, writing the song. Then it kind of started getting better. Like after I was finished with writing the song, that was kind of therapeutic. Right. Move. So I guess about a year or something. Now here's another mm -hmm. track from the album. Listen to this. We could be From which section does this come? Oh, it's not on the album. I didn't. Say, I don't see it on the album. I'm like, wait, where's where's this one? Is this just a separate single? Brand new. This is uh, my feature with Alesso. Okay, uh, and this is not on the album. No, no. I'm looking, I don't see it there. No, no, no. It's not on the album. It's um, it's my feature with uh, Alesso. So it's um, uh, a fel another fellow Swede. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're everywhere. I like that song though. Yeah, What's that about? You. Thank you. Um, well, it's about kind of um, how you feel that you just. Well, I used to feel when I was growing up that I I was frustrated to be just being an ordinary person. I wanted to be something bigger and mm. like, you know, I had all these huge dreams and um, I had some, you know, really great friends to share that with. And then kind of the, the song is just about that, that feeling that you can do anything no matter you know where you're from, or and where then look—you you, you yeah. record that song, and it happens to you. <laughs> yes. Life is good. Well, it's uh, really cool to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Super. I have three kidneys. You How do? I do. I do. I, I don't know. It's weird, but there's yeah, there's two on the right side. Um, what mm. is that? It seems like that might be good. No, like, I was kind of in a lot of hospitals for a while. Oh, so, so it's it dangerous. A, it's a bad thing. Yeah, oh. they kind of annoy each other. But oh. I can't take one out. Can you drink I, more? I think that's the liver that.